Hey Simmers and Animal Lovers, it's Erin the Rescue Simmer and welcome to a Sulani episode of our Shelter Play Along series. This is episode number four for our boy Ben, which means that he is going to be moving to the Sulani shelter to live his life in luxury until real life Ben, who is actually available for adoption through the Lobos Rescue Center in New Orleans, Louisiana, is adopted. Then he will have his fifth episode and we will go ahead and get him an in-game family here that you guys will upload to that hashtag ERS underscore shelter play along that I will scroll across the bottom of the screen here. And that brings me to another point. I need your help. We are going to be moving on to another shelter so that we can showcase their real life animals available for adoption. We want to be able to vote on them. I need you guys to comment your shelters, your favorite shelters. It can be a shelter close to you, one that has meant something to you that maybe you got your animal from, or just one that you are aware of and really in support of. Comment them down in the comments below and we'll be able to vote on some of their animals to vote them into our shelter play along. So that's enough Gavin, let's get to playing. Alrighty, so we are here on our beautiful island shelter with the very lovely, very capable woman, Penny Hodge. It looks like we've got some of our dogs that decided to take a um, little stroll. They are back, so Penny's gonna go ahead and grab them. Oh no, you know what? And we've already got Nuihi eating poo. That's disgusting. So it looks like Ben is being his friendly self and they're sleeping. Okay, wow. <laughs> She's disciplining a sleeping dog. <laughs> How is that working? I think Nui, he just woke up to uh, gripe and tell her to go away. So we're gonna have her introduce him to Tito. Make sure that these boys get along because they're gonna be living in quite close quarters. Aw, that's awesome. They could be pals for sure. All right, Penny, let's get everybody where they need to go. Penny is just saying goodnight to everybody making sure that everybody is good for the night. It looks like Ben is really settling down, which is great. Where is our Tito? Oh, Tito's chilling outside. Aw, Tito and Ben are gonna be such great friends. Look at him, he's like, dude, I have missed a playmate. He's being so patient waiting for Ben to wake up. And there's Ben just completely oblivious. He can't hear anything. So if you've been following the series, you know that real Ben is deaf. He cannot hear. Obviously we don't have disabilities in The Sims. I don't know if they could really accurately portray them, but just while everybody is sleeping, chilling out, resting for the night, um, I wanted to talk about a change. Um, so we've got this really big shelter. We had wanted them for the foster animals that hadn't been adopted within four episodes. And of course we wanted to bring in some of the local strays off the streets and to adopt. This kind of was successful. We've got three dogs from off the streets of Sulani. Um, tried to approach some cats, they were not having it. So currently we don't have any cats. Now, as we have more animals that come to the shelter, we're gonna run into a space issue. So I think we're gonna be focusing a little bit less on the island strays, just so that we can keep this up, available, comfortable for our fosters as they wait for real life homes. Let's have her take Ben on a walk and then we're gonna have her take Tito. Then once they're all walked, we'll move over and take care of the other animals. And then we're gonna take Ben and Tito on an outing. Oh, poor Tito, you're next, buddy, don't worry. I can't wait to see where they go. Gosh, this is so pretty, you guys. Could you imagine working at a job, getting trained so that ultimately you could do whatever job it was surrounded by all of this? That would just be so cool. Oh, everybody else on their morning run. I think we're gonna take probably all of the dogs out to a beach most likely so that they can get some face time with the locals, definitely. The idea is that the ones that we have, the strays that we have would be adopted out. I don't think that we're gonna be as strict about um, making sure that they have three skills and that they know not to do two misbehaviors and things like that just because we're not gonna spend as long in Sulani and we'll wanna make sure that we're keeping spaces open. Aw, here's our beach. It's a little early, I think, for anyone to be here. Gosh, this is so gorgeous. Oh, we've got some people. They're coming on over. Sweet Ben, he is loving this. Welcome to your new temporary home for a while, bud. Oh, meanwhile, poor hibiscus. Oh, do we have two gross dogs? We might have to wait on Tito's walk just because we gotta get these guys looking good. Oh my goodness, Bakake. 
I named him Pakake because it's a white island flower, or it's a white tropical flower. Let's go here. We're gonna bring Ben out with everybody else just so that he can play. He's a really social dog. Oh, she's got flies. Ew, gross. She has been nasty overnight though, so she's been sitting in it a bit. And we'll line Pakake up to give a bath too. Does Nui he also need? Yeah, I think she needs bath. You know what, this is the life. Just chilling out on a tropical island with our rescue dogs. You coming in, Ben? Oh, Ben, aww. Hibiscus wants his attention, but she's just barking to nobody. <gasps> Stop playing in puddles, you nasty little dog. If we could just get them, just get them to not play in or lick puddles or eat poop, that would be great. Dwayne wants to come over. Yeah, you can come over. Let's see if he maybe is in an adopting mood. I think he's a teen if I'm not. Yeah, he's a teen. So we would want his parents. Inside joke, have they met before? <gasps> Look at Penny making relationships. Minerva. <gasps> okay, all right. Looks like she's been making some relationships. Oh, Dwayne is just uh, working on his homework. Oh, look at Ben making friends. You know, I thought we would make a day of it and go out. Maybe that'll be something that we do tomorrow because it looks like Ben is just having the time of his life. Nawe Maida. Probably butchered that. Let's enthuse about dogs with her. We're gonna see if Nawe would possibly like a dog. Ooh. Nuihi is not about that. Look! We don't bark at other sims. And instead, let's be nice to her. Ooh, she is like on top of it. She's angry. Sorry to have missed you, but we'll bring some food by when we have a... Oh, it looks like that might have been like a welcome wagon. No, you're welcome to come in. Let's do a friendly introduction and another friendly introduction. All of you people live here. You can give all of these animals a home. Yeah, Makoa, good old Makoa. Let's show off Miyuhi to her and Hibiscus and hmm, and Pakake. If she hits it off with anybody, I am up for saying that they can be homed with them. Look at Ben just right in the action. Chilling out. He is loving this. She is like not, she's like annoyed. Maybe we wouldn't give her a dog. I mean, everybody has a day, but like. So they are all standing around. It looks like Nawe is in a much better mood. Makoa's gonna get some pork and I think Penny is gonna join him. Poor Nuhi. You know, she's really stuck close. I think maybe Nawe, it doesn't look like Penny really likes her much, but Yuhi does. So why don't we go ahead and make it official. I wonder where she lives even. All right, so the Maidas, it looks like live in San Mishuno. Let's move that over. The island dogs, why don't we go ahead and cut them in half? Because again, we're not going to be super strict on their requirements. But congratulations, Nuhi, on your new home. And you know what? Both Dwayne and Makoa were over. I think that Pukake would be great for them. So we'll go ahead and transfer over some funds. And Pukake is adopted too. Perfect, guys. I think everyone is heading home. So Penny is going to finish her food. And then she's going to go ahead and fill bowls for everybody. Ben's like, excuse me. I would like some food, lady. Service in this place is horrible. Oh, Tito. I am so glad that Ben and Tito get to hang out. Oh, my gosh. They are such great boys. And who are we kidding? Let's unlock this door to all of the pets. Because we don't have very many. I feel like that's gonna be a lot more manageable now. So I think we'll probably keep the stray animal count pretty low just so that we have enough household space and size for any of our fosters that would need it. 
and so that it can be a little bit more chill, a little bit more relaxed, we can do a little bit more. Because I want to take everybody tomorrow probably to the beach, and we'll see if we can work a little bit more one-on-one -on -one with Hibiscus. Why don't we have Penny wake up, and then we're going to ask Hibiscus to lie down. She actually has a really good relationship with her. Oh, I wonder if Hibiscus could be Penny's dog. Oh, Ben took it. He's like, no thanks. Let's hug Hibiscus and pet Tito. Sometimes it's annoying that they're frozen when the Sims are asleep, but I kind of love it because I know for sure that there will be a number of hours where we don't have the dogs making a mess, which is nice. Benip, Benip. Ooh, Penny has to pee. Go on, girl. And let's get some leftovers and let's commune a little. Commune with that spirit. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, oh, Rui. <laughs> Look at you, girl. What is this? Island luck. Penny has been granted good fortune, improving her skill and motive oh, games. That's careful. awesome. So I think she's, yeah, she's confident. Perfect. All right, so it is a little early, but let's go ahead and bring everybody to the beach. We're gonna travel with Ben, Tito, and Hibiscus, and we're just gonna have a beach day with the dogs. How's the weather? Because it looks a little dark. Oh, it's cloudy and fall today. Well, maybe there won't be a ton of people here, but let's roughhouse with Hibiscus yes, no, and okay. play fetch with Ben. Oh, oh. Oh, who is this? Leilani? You know what? <laughs> Everybody feels the need to like discipline Hibiscus. Ooh, look lady. Let's give a rude introduction because we know she's a pain in the patoot, but she's our pain in the patoot. Thank you. Oh, she's gorgeous. Enthuse about dogs with her. We will enthuse about cats. Look at this man. Oh, this is actually Patia's father. Oh, she's so sad. Listen, sir. Let's get to know him a little bit. And who is this lovely lady? Oh, it's Amy. Hi, Amy. And customarily, we are <laughs> picking on hibiscus. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so who is this? Lifeguard. Oh, who is the lifeguard? All right, so everybody is having a really big bone to pick with hibiscus, so why don't we just train her a little bit? No, 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 we don't eat poop. No, we don't eat poop. No, thank you. Tito's a really good boy, but uh, he's never tried that. Why don't we train hibiscus to just, yay, Tito won't eat poop anymore, thank goodness. Why don't we train hibiscus to sit, so that way she's got at least something down. The more you train a troublemaker dog, the less they do those kinds of things. Like, Tito has the troublemaker trait, but he's a really well-behaved animal. Um, let's just forget about the eating poop incident. Oh, he's gonna, she's gonna chat with him. Pet training level four. Good girl, Hibiscus. I'm gonna enthuse about dogs with him. Mateus, I hear the festival. <gasps> T-shirts are out of this world. You know what? Hmm, I don't know. We're not gonna go because we have a job to do. Oh, thank you, Amy. But that's really interesting. Mateus just called and asked if she wanted to go to the festival with him. They were talking at the wedding. And as far as I know, he's not ready to settle down. He adopted Antonio, which is great. And he's just a guy who's wanting to experience the world right now. I don't know how they would be together. Maybe that it would just be like a dating thing. But I don't know. Penny is such a... She knows what she wants. She knows where she can make an impact. And that's really what she's about. And I think that he would respect that. Aww. Amy and Yay Tito. Boo. Tito is such a charmer. <laughs> oh, he really is. Uh, uh, don't yes. growl at people. I think Hibiscus is a little overwhelmed being here. Let's roughhouse a little with her. And I want to... We're going to continue our fetch training with Ben. There's a good girl. She just became good friends with Hibiscus. Yes. Let's do a friendly introduction. Do you happen to want a dog? And Minerva. Let's do a friendly introduction there as well. 
Minerva is Fatia's mom. Ooh, I wanted to introduce myself to you as well. Liliana tried to say hi to us the other day or yesterday. Enthuse about dogs. Enthuse about dogs. Let's mm, discuss our interests and enthuse about dogs. Oh, look at that. Both of these dogs are really just coming into their own. Poor hibiscus. When we come out next time, we're just we're gonna leave her kind of be. I think I don't think she really connected with anybody. She was scolded by everybody. That is so sad. What a stoic figure you make, Ben. Just sort of sitting and pondering in the water. They're so sweet. Oh, ben is really loving this. He's just, like Tebow, they're both friendly animals. They're just making their way around, meeting the locals. I think this is absolutely the life for them. Yeah, there we go. Let's go ahead and travel home. So I invited Mateus. It looks like he came. So, oh, bills. How much are bills? Yeah, let's pay those. Let's express some adoration. Because this man was talking to her at the wedding. He wanted to go out to a festival with her. So I think Amy wants to figure out what this is all about. Oh, look, there he goes. Ben's loosening her up. Good boy. Ben and Tito. Aw, good boys. That is so awesome. Maybe they could be adopted together. Ben and Tito are really, really good pupper friends. Absolutely. They are just chatting the day She's complaining about some cloudy weather. But sharing her love of dogs together. What playful boys. They're both dog lovers. That's amazing. Get to know him a little. And let's do a bold pickup line. She's confident. Why not? <laughs> Alright, so... Let's hug him. Be like, thank you for coming out all this way, Mr. I'm Flirty. Let's have them exchange numbers together and embrace. So it looks like they have a little bit of like a romantic interest in each other. You guys let me know what you think down in the comments about this as an option. If it's something that you guys feel good about want to pursue, then maybe this will be something that gradually develops over time. Again, it doesn't have to be super serious. I don't think either of them are really looking... Well, yeah. Mateus is not looking to settle down. Penny, I think, would be family-minded, so I don't know how he'll like that. Look at this man. He's like, man, that affected me. Now that everybody is back inside, Hibiscus is just swimming in her dog pool. She loves the water, which makes sense. She lives in Sulani. She's from Sulani. So I think I definitely want to make sure that we get her somebody that is happy at the water, for sure. Or would, would make sure that that's part of her lifestyle. Man, they're chatting it up. Let's propose a crazy scheme. Like I said, Penny's super driven. I think that she would want somebody that she could talk about things with from a dating perspective. And let's let her pee like a champ. It's getting pretty late. Ooh, and she's gonna need to take a bath. She's about to stink real, real bad. Look at Ben. He is so happy. Like, he's wagging his tail while he's asleep. And Tito's like, I can't wait till he wakes up. We're going to play so hard. It's nice that Ben and Tito know to give Hibiscus her space. Like, she doesn't really have to warn them or growl or tell them to back off much. I don't think that she... I was originally thinking that she might be good for Penny, but with her not really being a fan of other animals, I don't see how that could work. So I think she would definitely need... You know, just somebody who's not looking for anything else, wants a small dog who loves the water. I think Fatia's parents actually might not be a bad option. So they're just going to kind of hang out as friends. They know that they have some attraction together, but they're just going to chill, just going to hang out. She really hasn't had a chance to do that. Most of her networking has been for the shelter. So I think it, even if they don't end up getting romantic, I think it would be nice for her to just have a friend. He doesn't live local, but... He's a guy that travels. He doesn't want to put down roots really anywhere. So while he's in Sulani, might as well. 
do you guys think Mateus would want to work at the shelter? Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that's a twist in this, this way to kind of find himself. Maybe that's a step that he takes. Why, oh. girl? Why? All the way over here, you had so many great sinks. You had, you had a sink right in your kitchen and the same sink, literally the same sink in your bathroom, in your hut. That is crazy to me. What is he watching? Some kids superhero movie. Aw, he's got a playful side. And Penny's loving it. She's like, yeah, this is a great movie. Penny doesn't normally gravitate toward TV. And I, like, why would you when you live in a place like this? But I think it's a nice thing to be able to just take a break. And we should probably discuss our interests with him and then send him home. Oh, they were talking about the wedding. I think Ben's had a really great first couple of days here. I think he's just so going to enjoy his time with his new buddy, Tito. Who knew that those two would be so great for each other? She just became good friends with Ben. Oh, you'll get water from that sink, but you won't wash your dishes in it. Aw, good job. Aw, he went to say hi to Ben. So Penny is getting ready to go to bed. Um, I guess Mateus is just gonna chill out here. Oh, he cleaned the puddle for us. That's embarrassing, that was still there. Thank you, bud. So Ben has had a great couple first days here. I think Tito's really loving life, having Ben here, having a great playmate. It looks like we were able to get some dogs rehomed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's giving her a cautious introduction. Oh, Mateus is even great with hibiscus. Don't you dare poop on our, don't, uh-uh. Phew, okay, interrupt my outro. It looks like our buddy is just gonna be hanging out a little while. He's like, hey, I'm in Sulani for a bit. I'm just gonna chill at your place, bum on your couch. She's like, no, no, it's fine, it's good. Let's stop it here. I'm gonna go ahead and end this part here. Thank you guys so much for watching along. Again, please go ahead and comment your shelter suggestions down in the comment section below. I really love being able to look at all of the different shelters that not only the US, but other countries would have to offer. Just see kind of what they're about. The more shelters that we get the opportunity to showcase, the more that once we reach monetization, we'll be able to share our ad revenue with. So I am just super, super excited for who you guys suggest. I can't wait. So we just got done with Ben, who is obviously a dog. Our next foster would be a cat, which I'm super excited about. It feels like we favor dogs, but for some reason cats just don't like being adopted by us the strays. So I am excited to get some cats in here. Thank you guys so much for playing along for the support for the series. I just so appreciate you. You guys have a great rest of your day and happy simming. Bye.